Welcome to Off Grid Victory. So today's video is about um, sea rations, um, survival food, kind of like hardtack emergency rations. Um, this particular brand uh, is touted as one of the best tasting out there on the market. Um, I have friends who make hardtack and as kind of the uh, more prepared mindset, you know, we, we carry these things um, in our vehicles. And so what I wanted to talk to you about is the performance of these things. Um, they were manufactured, these particular ones that I, I have here, um, they've been manufactured about five years ago. And I think I've stored them almost that long inside my vehicle. Uh, it's been in my car through the winters, through the summers, um, and uh, so finally it uh, it expired. So let me show you the uh, the date on this guy. So as you can see, it, the expiration date there is uh, eight eighteen, and it was manufactured in eight fourteen. And I got them somewhere right around uh, two thousand fourteen. And so um, the way I stored it was like this, completely encased in aluminum foil. Um, I actually had both of these bricks on here in a large uh, heavy duty plastic bag like this. And then I had it in the uh, wheel well of my car. And so it's been like that for about five years. And um, recently, because of the expiration date was coming up, I decided to test some of these guys out and uh, share it with some of, uh, some of the saints. And really, it does a pretty good job. I mean, um, as far as advertise, uh, it does uh, do what it says. Uh, it's fairly tasty. It's, um, it has kind of a, uh, I would say an almond cookie, like a Chinese almond cookie kind of taste. Uh, when you uh, open the package up, uh, it's, um, it, there's 18 of these bars right here. And um, each one of these bars is 200 calories, it says. So let me go through just the specs on this thing. So let me take you to the back of it. So right here, you can see the calorie content, 200 calories. The weight of this whole package is a little less than two pounds. Um, you can see the fats, you can see uh, the amount of um, you know carbs it has and a little bit of protein. And you can see the ingredients. It's really very simple. It's wheat flour vegetable shortening, cane sugar, water, coconut, and salt. And so this particular product is called, uh, uh, I guess it's Dayrex or uh, dot Daytrex, I guess, uh, bars. And so anyway, um, I wouldn't recommend it. I mean, it actually held uh, for uh, five years like the product says and it's it's kind of uh, kind of incredible to me because it's you know I've I've tried survival foods over the years and they're not very tasty and um, Yeah, they're usually don't last as as long as they say they last and These do so it says this ration to be replaced not later than five years from production date or according to government administration so of course, they also use this in the government. Um, maybe, maybe the um, Coast Guard uses these guys. But at any rate, um, the uh, uh, Daytrax bars, um, they do pretty well, these uh, emergency rations. Now, what you're supposed to do, it says here, I guess the cal caloric, um, caloric intake is not as high on the water because you know they're assuming you're on a boat blah 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 so it's one every six hours per person and i'm assuming it's for an adult so you know course of 24 hours you're going to consume four of these um, while you're at sea and uh, when you're outside uh, you know on the land um, the emergency rations there say that you should use um, uh, six per 24 hours so there's uh, 18 in there so on land uh, basically where I would use it uh, just to um, to get you by I guess you would eat six of these in a day so you, this is about three days rations for for an adult and so that's uh, that's pretty um, good and in, in terms of uh, being able to put this in a bug out bag or a camping bag i would highly recommend that um, in terms of weight considerations 
it's not the lightest thing to be putting in, um, let's say a bug out bag, but a camping bag, it's great. And in terms of storing it, like I said, in a vehicle, uh, I would highly recommend this because uh, the, the quality of the product did not degrade at all. Here, I'll take a little chunk and eat it. And um, yeah, and it works really well. So I'm going to be buying this again. Uh, I'm going to put this guy back in my car and see how long, uh, we wrap it in aluminum foil, of course. I'm going to put that in my car for another, let's say, uh, year and then uh, see what it tastes like. Alrighty. Shalom.